Hey guys, we're here today to install these shifter bracket bushings from 034 Motorsport. These are built aluminum and will replace the rubber bushings on the shifter to just give us that much of a better shifting feel. It'll make the car more confident to know which gear it's going into. So we're gonna get in here, gonna remove some stuff, get these replaced and get it back out on the road and see how it drives. So first things first, I want you to remove the battery. So that's what we're gonna do. I love how light the batteries are. So light. Next step is all these fun, fun guys. I'm gonna get a longer extension because I want one. All right, and guess what? You can't remove the battery tray like that. You've got to then. Oh. I actually kind of like that. This just does not work as I thought it was going to. All the plastic parts over there. And then you actually undo the leftmost wire. Now, you might be able to remove the battery tray. Ah, barely, 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 barely. All right, so next on this list is the shifter cables. You can slide in there. And you, you just, and there we go. All the tools everywhere. Good night. So these are all, which makes it easier to do the rest. So then there is one bolt underneath here that is 13 mil. You should have a deep socket 13 to get it. But if you don't, because you're poor like me, then you a 13 millimeter box wrench. Seems to be doing the trick for me. I tested it before I got myself too far in. It is not the easiest, but you know, we don't do things easy around here and that's okay. My life would be so much easier if I just had the proper tools for so many things. <clears throat> Got this one, the one in the corner. It's gonna be interesting to get back on, but the others should be 7,000 times easier to get off. That's that one already broken loose, let me lean. 
like Richard Hammond. Might actually be better without this. You know, the ECS says don't remove the battery. O34 says that's the first thing you do. And I'm actually glad I removed the battery because look how much extra space there is, not only to film, but to actually do stuff. Like it's, it's really nice. Bolt, ta-da. And then there's actually these metal linings in there now you actually have to get out and they say a f little flat head can help so we're gonna go to this one if you can see that Well, that's a gunner. All right, now that that one's out though, this, the rubber bushing just kinda can come out too. This little sleeve. It's like they attempted to make it somewhat solid and then they're just like, nah, just a little sleeve will be fine. Mm. All right. Uh, two out of the three were successfully evacuated. You just got to do what you got to do. <sighs> oh. Amazing. ta done. I'm going to get that other sleeve that fell in there real quick. The new brackets simply replace the old rubber bushings and everything goes back the way it was. If you would like an in-depth review on how well these shifter bushings worked, please find the Butt Dino Report video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Have a great day. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.